All right. Well, on to the boss. Dr. Entropy. All right. <clears throat> ah, you little vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into. This time, you've done it! You little skunk! Give me the crystals! What the fuck do I do? Aha! Beginner's trap, no way I would have known that. Jump! Fucking PS4 controller, man. Wow, again, you dropped my input. Double jump. This sucks, man. This thing drops my inputs like crazy. Got him. Boom. Time, time is Two. Up, but yours soon will be too. A nefarious trophy. What's this? To spin longer and faster or to glide while in the air, press the squ uh, square button repeatedly. Okay. Let's see. 
Whoa! That's cool. I'll have to see how this uh, factors into stuff coming up. This time twister machine is very delicate. Without Dr. Entropy's constant care and control, who knows what it will do? Oh well. Sounds like you dug your own grave, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, there's two more areas left. Let's save. Let's see if it'll actually fucking save. You know what? I'll just do it from here. Okay. Alright, let's see if I owe any shout-outs here. Attorney of Forever did a 50-bit cheer. He said, dropped inputs. What were the developers thinking? It's not the developers. It's this. It's Bluetooth technology sucks. And I found this this controller actually drops more inputs than the original PS3 controller. Remember when I played Crash on PS3? I was using PS3 controller. It actually worked better than this. I think this actually is uh, like more delay, and it drops a lot of inputs. It just does. You gotta realize... Wireless technology is good for certain things, but when we live in a world where there's so many wireless things around us, just give you some perspective here. This is my remote control for my air conditioner. This is my wireless mouse. Right there, I've got the remote control for my TV. Right here, I've got my phone. I've got four to five wireless devices around me at all times. Of course the wireless controller is going to drop inputs. You've got all this stuff that's constantly factoring in that's going to give it... Uh, you know, a high chance of failure versus I guarantee you when they tested this controller, they test it in a closed lab with just this controller and a PS4. Oh, it doesn't drop any inputs. Yeah, I wonder why, because you're having an unrealistic situation where you're in a fucking isolation booth testing the controller. Of course it doesn't drop any inputs there. But, you know, that's the thing, that's, the, that's what we, the, the price we pay for wireless technology. There should be an alternative to this that also is a wired version, but there is a, this for this controller. Even if you plug it in via USB, still functions as wireless, which is stupid in my opinion. But that's how it works. So of course there's going to be dropped inputs. It's just a natural factor of the technology advancement. Everything's wireless now, right? Oh, uh, shout out to Hyperior Twenty One who did a ten bit cheer and tried to remind me to save. Chris. Chrisamore did a 25 bit cheer and he said, Sorry, I missed the opening of the stream. I, I actually 100%ed this game as a kid. If you need advice, just whistle. Uh, the Armit Toast did a temperature. I'm wondering if there's a way I can do a Street Fighter 2 event where people can play against me. I doubt it because the Street Ultra Street Fighter 2 works so poorly. I doubt people would even be able to join the matches. Ah, Righteous7 did a 10 bit cheer and said, Fun fact those double header enemy types used to actually have clubs instead of those fried chi uh, roasted chickens. One of the things Vicarious changed for a bit of fun. That's nice to know. Alright. Ah, uh, Attorney of Forever now did a 301 bit cheer. I said, thank you for the detailed explanation of the wireless stuff. Are you enjoying the game? I am! Even though the game's frustrating, this is what you have to expect from classic platformers. You're gonna have these intense moments of frustration, but then you finally overcome and get to the next thing, and you're like, yes, I get the fun again. So... Yeah, I, I, even though I'm frustrated by the, some of the stuff, I'm still overall having fun, so. Alright, so we're going to this Egyptian area, it looks like. The Sphinxinator. I have no idea what that is. I guess we're going to find out. Two gems. Two gems, but I bet one you need one of the special color gems to get it, which I probably don't have. Alright. Alright. Onto the new area. 